You know, I looked for a terroir that had all the elements to make a great Cabernet Sauvignon. We came here with the sole intent of making Cabernet Sauvignon. We grow only the Bordeaux varietals on our estate in Creston. I, I think when someone says grapes to me, it's Cabernet. There is no grape that has the complexity, the depth, the flavors that Cabernet does. We actually have our top tier of wines that aren't just Bordeaux style, but we have three wines. One's Bordeaux Pauillac style, Bordeaux Pomerol style, and Bordeaux saint Emilion style. That's how crazy we are about Bordeaux wines and, and Cabernet. I personally like a Cabernet that's like, you know, fruit forward and it's very soft and the tannins are not going to bite you. I, I love a, a beginning, middle and finish that's just, you're going to love the wine. And, you know, I think this area grows those kind of wines. There's many of us in the wine world around here who see the potential of Paso Robles uh, and, uh, you know, the world-class nature of Cabernet Sauvignons uh, that are coming from this region. It's okay to experiment on all different levels in the vineyard and all the way through to the winery with the barrels and it has that energy, that vibe that some other places either had at one time and have lost or now are looking to Paso and I think it's just an exciting place with a lot of direction, with a lot of opportunities. There's so much diversity here that we're able to go and look in these different places and bring out different characteristics that that the different areas will, will bring to the wines. The warm days, the cool nights, the poor soil, all these things contribute to achieving ripeness. And when you achieve ripeness with Cabernet Sauvignon, there's this beautiful velvety texture that you feel, you taste in the grapes when you're ready to pick them. And it's beautiful to be able to taste this feature on Cabernet almost every year on our mountain and in Paso in general. I feel like Cabernet has a great uh, future here in Paso Robles. I think the region lends itself to multiple different styles of winemaking. This is a place for Cabernet. This is a place for Bordeaux. I've never doubted it even when I first came here. I, I realized that this is the perfect area for Bordeaux. But one of the reasons that I moved to Paso is because of the, the tight-knit community of winemakers. Friendliness, camaraderie between uh, each of the wineries for sharing knowledge and really doing what we can to improve quality across the board uh, for Cabernet Sauvignon in Paso Robles. We can uh, make some beautiful Cabernet and I think that uh, more we are to show that to the rest of the world, it's a great opportunity. So it's, it's exciting to be with a group of guys who are pushing forward and pushing Cabernet forward and the, the Bordeaux forward. This group here is just a testament to the seriousness with which people take growing Bordeaux varietals and, and the future that they want to see uh, Paso go to. The Paso Robles Cat Collective came really to be with few wineries that got together and said, look, you know, 50% or more of what's planted in Paso Robles today is Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, we know that Cabernet can grow extremely well in this appellation. We know the elements are all there to, to produce an incredible Cabernet that is age-worthy, that is classic, that uh, is balanced, that is elegant. Um, but the world doesn't know about it. It's kind of like the best kept secret. So the collective came together to form this organization really with a two-pronged approach. The first one is to create awareness. A lot of consumers still come, for instance, to our tasting room and they go, does Cabernet really grow in Paso? Of course it does. It's been growing forever. I mean, for a long time. And we want to really spread the word and create awareness for the fact that Cabernet really rocks in Paso Robles. The second really uh, uh, reason why we came together is we realize we're still a youthful appellation and we realize that we need to focus, work together, create a think tank, collaborate and really elevate the bar even further because I truly believe that as much as Cabernet rocks today, the full potential has not been achieved yet. But I think by working together, we can accomplish that. We can raise the bar for all the wineries and for the quality that can come out of here. Come to Paso Robles and join us for Cabs of Distinction on April 27th. Yeah! yeah. Woo.